Hello everyone, I'm Neeti Kumari and I'm from Begu Sarai Bihar. I was a full-time student. When I started this degree, I was also pursuing BA honors in English literature. And I finished that degree when I was in diploma level of this degree. So after that, I uh, I was doing this degree standalone. And while I was pursuing this degree, I did multiple internships, projects, and ATM summer schools, winter schools. And currently, I'm a project associate in data science department. The flexibility uh, this degree provides was the uh, most important reason I enjoyed in this because I was in my home and I was pursuing other degree and I was not able to uh, come outside from there and go somewhere else. So if I like, uh, if I want and I do my 100%, there are people who can help me and I can pursue this degree. So after that, I never thought of quitting this degree, but I always thought like if I give my 100%, there are people, there are uh, students, like my peers and instructors will help me and I can achieve this. If I still I was in my home, I don't know uh, what to do and where would I be uh, at this point. And somehow I was uh, able to convince my parents and I came here. Then Marty ma'am. Uh, gave me that opportunity to start an internship in a BS office and then explore other uh, things, other opportunities. Uh, in our foundation, the CT course is very helpful. If you do it like the, how they are teaching, it's very helpful. The CT was the basic. When I started, I was not even uh, able to uh, understand that uh, diagram that is in CT. I was that beginner at that level. But I learned how, like, CT is very beginner friendly and they have explained, the professor explained it very nicely. So if you go through not at once, you can uh, watch it repeatedly. I watched that CT video twice or thrice because that is the base in curriculum. Also, you have to practice it again and again on your own. Like if you are giving uh, maths uh, um, like two hours, you have to give four to six hours to Python if you are new. If you give time, you can achieve it. It's not like you can't and it's impossible for you if you are coming from non-technical background. So just you have to be, you have to keep faith on yourself and you have to practice. And if you are facing problem anywhere, you can ask for help on this course or in live sessions, they'll help you. I was in diploma level at that time. So I was gaining skills while doing projects. So I felt confident, like my confidence was boosting and my skills, everything. After that, I started exploring other opportunities there. And then I got an internship in research park. So I started, I joined there. After that, I also uh, went for uh, ACM schools. And after that, after that uh, internship in research park, I got uh, an internship opportunity. Uh, with a professor in IIT Madras itself, but he gave me chance and after I worked, he was really so happy with my work and uh, he blessed me so much and he only uh, referred me to a, another professor. Three months opportunity and he told me, if you can prove it here, then I'll uh, give you, I'll extend it or I'll give you a position in my company. So I worked there and he too was very happy with my work and he finally he uh, extended my uh, tenure there and at last he gave me a um, job opportunity in his office. So currently I'm working as a project associate with Arun Sir. After joining this degree, I got that uh, even I got that discipline like I have to uh, study these things because uh, every week we have assignments and then we have exams. And once I came here, I got uh, to interact with people. When I was in uh, home, I was doing assignments and all, but because I'm not uh, very much into social media, so I'm not very uh, extrovert and I'm like, uh, I'm a bit uh, like uh, separated, so I can't interact that much. But when I come here, I meet other uh, students too, and here I met uh, multiple persons. And when I joined that uh, internship, uh, that uh, ops interns in VS office, there I I developed uh, like I I saw a big change in myself. I have just completed my uh, mad project, so I had that to show uh, to show anyone. Like if I'm going for any opportunity, I, I have that thing as proof that I have done, and I was confident in that. 
so when i went to that company uh, i saw that project that see i have done this and i am i am now confident that i i can build any website or i think they have they asked me to build an app and i was very new because i developed here web app and they wanted a mobile app but because i have done this i had that confidence that uh, like it's related to app development i can do it and i did it so that gives me a confidence that even it's a new topic you can do it because you know now uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, path like how to do it you know that all uh, workflow and it's not like if you even in machine learning you have somehow you have to do that uh, uh, development so development is permanent it's not like if you are doing ml you don't need uh, development you need that too and you can start from there if uh, you can get some experience and the confidence that you can build something i got that confidence and now i can say like in any company in any interview they everyone has different problem statement because i started from there which was very new now i'm very confident I, and i can say whatever the problem is i can find a solution for it and in that uh, paradox i participated uh, after a long time i i participated and i came up uh, in that like on stage and uh, in front of this much public uh, that also gives me confidence like okay i can also do something like extra curriculum whenever you you feel uh, at any point of time you feel like it's tough and i can't do it don't quit it there try and ask for help here in this program there are many uh, instructors and students who are really here uh, who who will help you and you can do it so don't uh, make your mind to quit it just try give your 100% you can do it 